Hello, today I'm taking a look at Motion. Motion, I'm not, they probably want me to say Motion, but it's spelled Motion. Mm. And this is a pretty cool platform, actually. This combines different types of AI to allow you to create videos, and it will do it just from a single prompt and it will script it out. Now, when you log in, this is the dashboard you see. I've got 3,500 credits to play with. You can see I've already used up almost. Uh, what's that? Almost 1,500 of them. And so for me, I'll, I'll come into the pricing later, but I think tier two is the sweet spot if you want to try this out and have a comfortable amount of credits, but they do have a very generous tier three. So the dashboard's very easy to use. You can simply pop a prompt in here and you see it's got some different example prompts and then you would hit the little star and that will start the process. I'll show you that in a second. But you can see we've also got other ideas down below. And I, I really like the autobiography in 60 seconds. I think that's a very good one. I've, I've done one of those. It's really good. Halloween's around the corner. Maybe you want to generate some horror stories. You know, there's all sorts you can do with this. You've got my recent projects. I'll show you some of those in a second. And then the gallery. And this is really where you can see the power of this. And it's actually pretty simple to use. What I really like about this gallery is it shows off all the different image styles. So you can see this is photorealistic. This is more like a sort of Pixar style. We've got line drawing, manga style. We've got all sorts of different styles that you can generate videos in. And so it's good to look through these to get an idea of the kind of style you want to use in your project. But let's just have a quick click on old Queenie. And so we can see the title. We can see it's 28 scenes how long it's lasting, we've got the summary, we've got the hashtags, and then we've got the scripts that was used. And this script is then used by the system to generate the images for each scene. And so this was all done based on a legacy of leadership, the life of Queen Elizabeth II. Queen Elizabeth II was the longest reigning monarch in British history, known for her unwavering dedication to duty and service. Born on the 21st of April, 1926, Elizabeth Alexandra Mary was not... So that's just an example. That's using very realistic image generation. I think it looks great. Which one's this? This is like an Alice On a bright, land. sunny afternoon, young Alice sat on the riverbank with her older sister. She was growing bored with the book her sister was reading, as it had no pictures or dialogues. Suddenly, Alice noticed a white rat... So that looks good. Let's have a little look at this one. This, is this a horror one? In the heart of the small, fog-shrouded town of Blackthorn, nestled between the dense, ever-whispering pines, sat a crumbling Victorian manor. Its haunting house was a doll. <laughs> Creepy. So some really good examples there. And what you're probably noticing is there's a voiceover, there's music, there's sometimes still pictures, sometimes animated. These are all settings that you'll need to have a little play with and they all cost different credits. Now, before I show you how to make one, you've also got image background editor and image style transfer. I haven't really played those too much, but it looks like they're introducing more AI related tools. I'm going to generate uh, autobiography. So when you start a project, or this one's the autobiography in 60 seconds, it's, it's all the same. You have to generate from a prompt or you can use your content. So you can see you've got the amount of text you can include here for the prompt, or you can include 5,000 in your content. You can pick the language to output to. I'm going to stick with English. If you want an avatar, I think that's for explainer videos. I've not experienced with those just yet. Maybe I'll try that in a second. This is Futuremark. I forgot to include in my video that I did go back and experiment. And this is the kind of thing the avatar video creates. So it adds the avatar in front of the AI generated images. So in this case, this is about the science behind baking. And I've picked an avatar who's in a kind of chef's outfit. And then it makes the animated avatar look like he's narrating what's going on in the background. So these are great for these kind of explainer videos. Needed. These proteins combine to form gluten. Think of gluten like stretchy balloons that trap tiny bubbles of gas inside the dough. You can pick a specific avatar. You can pick whether it's a landscape portrait or square. The idea for this video is an autobiography of Kurt Llewellyn, who is prominent in change management. So I've pasted my prompt in the top. I'm going to select the clay arts because I think that looks great. And we'll say generate for 20. So each of these actions costs a little bit. So it's not the full project for 20. That's just the first part. It's now going to understand the content and it's going to write the script for this autobiography. So here we go. That was very quick. 
So we've got the title, it's now got the scenes with the text, and it's generating the images for each of those scenes. So it's 40% done. Now this is going to be, oh, it looks like it's only three scenes for some reason. Maybe it's not been able to find out too much information, but that's okay. I could go back and start again with my own information if I wanted to, but I'm just going to stick with this to show you. So it's now come up with these great sort of Wallace and Gromit scenes. If you know Wallace and Gromit, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you don't, go check them out. Amazing. So we've got these three scenes. The previous one I did actually was a lot longer, so I'm guessing there's not as much information. So we can regenerate, we can animate, we can edit, we can replace, we can insert images. So at this point, you've got a load of settings to play with. So here's the title settings. I'll just leave those as they are. And I'm going to do a scene effect. I'll do a Ken Burns effect to give it a bit of motion. And then if we scroll all the way down, you can see we've got the avatar layout. Oh, here we go. I want Andrew. Yes. So you can check out the voices. The only true whiz. Hi there. If I'm not back in five minutes. So I'm going to use Andrew. And you can add music. Now, I've got to say, it's got a good selection, but I found it, and you, and you can set it to low, but I think I would personally prefer to have no music and then add that separately so I've got better control over the sound mixing and the balance. So once you're happy with the settings, simply hit Compose. Now, this part can take quite a while because it's going to be generating the scenes, and it takes even longer if you're selecting motion because obviously you're going to animate those scenes. But because I've only got a few scenes and I'm not doing any fancy animation, this should be pretty quick. In fact, there we go. It looks like it has finished. Kurt Lewin was born in Prussia in 1890 and later became a renowned psychologist. He revolutionized the field by introducing the change theory, a framework that helps understand the dynamics of organizational and personal. Moving from Europe to the USA in the 1930s was a turning point where he... So there you go. You can then Download the video, and away you go. You can upload that to your YouTube channel, your socials, wherever it is you want to upload it to. Now, let me just show you some of the others I've done. So this was the first one I tried. Now, the last one had the Ken Burns effect, which is where it zooms in, zooms out, so it adds motion to a static image. With this one, I asked it to animate it, so I spent the credits on animating the full thing. John Cotter was born in 1947 and grew up with a passion for leadership and organizational dynamics. A Harvard Business School professor, Cotter became renowned for- So I think that looks really good. That, that first scene isn't great, but here this does look like clay animation and it continues in this style throughout. So I think it's done a very good job apart from that opening scene, just because there was it didn't seem to animate it at all. But you can see here the rest of it, it's done a great job with the animations. Again, I didn't add music because if I want to add music, I'll do that afterwards. And then just as another example, I asked it to write a story about a cat. So if we just go all the way down, the prompt was a female black cat on a space adventure and it's come up with a full story. It's almost five minutes long, but I'll just do a little, just go into it a little bit. Midnight was on a grand voyage exploring the so i'll put that story at the end of the video so you can see it but let's generate something new now so this time i'm not going to select a particular area let's just have a little think so it's a little bit of a cheeky one a businessman's adventure in discovering absumo deal let's leave what it can come up with so this is really cool this part now because what you're going to see is the behind the scenes workings of the ai and what they're getting the ai to do so the first part of this is it passes it to the director part of the AI and you'll see it on screen it's now thinking about the prompt I've given it and it's going to start planning. So first of all we have the overall planning, it's going to define the project scope, messaging, that kind of stuff. Then it moves on that we're going to need a script to be written, then it's going to design the storyboard and then finally it's going to do the video post-production. So there's four steps to this process. And I like the way it does this. Rather than it just being a bar going up, you know, 0% up to 100%, we can see what's going on in the background. And as we go through now, it's going to say, right, we've got 13 seconds now if we want to change any of this. So I want it in English US. I want that to be the ratio. Let's stick with cinematic. I don't think I've tried that one yet. But if you wanted it in a specific style, you could change that at this point. If you don't change it, it locks in the the decisions that have been made and now it moves on to the next section which here we're going to be developing the story so the first part was done by the director it's now been passed to the screenwriter so here we go david mitchell 
That's funny, he's a, a British comedian. So David Mitchell's now a businessman. So he's now writing out this story and it's then going to use uh, the script to generate the images for the story. Okay, so it's now completed the script and the animator is reviewing the script and it's actually creating the scenes. It did ask if I wanted to animate all scenes. And again, you've got a countdown timer to decide what you want to do. And if you leave it too long, it'll just lock in no and carry on. So you need to be careful. I don't know if there's any settings actually where you can set the defaults. So now it's asking us to check on things like the title styles, the subtitle styles. I'm gonna leave all this as is. We can modify these in the next eight, sec eight seconds. And that's quite a lot to go through in a very short space of time. So make sure that you're happy and understand what each of these look like so you can quickly change them if you need to. So now it's generating the voiceover track and it'll put it all together and we'll have a finished video. So this has taken a while to complete. It's 26 scenes, but it has now finished the project. We'll just have a little sneak peek. David Mitchell, a businessman with an insatiable curiosity for uncovering business hacks that could save time and money, had achieved moderate success running a series, always on the lookout for tools that could maximize his So thanks to AppSumo for providing me with Tier 2 to try this out. Tier 2 is a good balance of credits per month to price. So tier one is $69, you get 1,750 credits, but you can get through that very quickly. Unless you're just doing very short, you're gonna burn through those, I think, too quickly. So I think tier two is a good balance between price and what you get, 3,500 credits. That's allowed me to do some longer videos and a lot of shorter ones, so good balance. You get that renewing each month. But if you're going to be using this for a faceless YouTube channel, then really it's gotta be tier three, 8,000 credits per month. All of them are 1080p, and I can't see what's included in this little blue bit because this is just a deal preview sheet. So if you want to check out the full details, then please go click my affiliate link down below. So what do you think to Motion? Motion, I think this is a pretty cool tool. I think if you're trying to run a faceless YouTube channel, this would help. I'm gonna be playing around with it a little bit more. And now let's show you my very first attempt, which is Midnight's Cosmic Adventure. In a distant corner of the galaxy, aboard a sleek and shimmering spacecraft, Midnight the cat sat perched atop the starship's control panel. Midnight wasn't just any cat. She was a black cat with an insatiable curiosity and a knack for adventure. Her fur was as dark as the void of space, and her emerald green eyes glowed with a mysterious allure. Midnight was on a grand voyage, exploring the uncharted territories of the cosmos. Her mission was simple yet daunting, to retrieve ancient stardust known to hold galactic secrets and unimaginable powers. Alongside Midnight was her trusty companion, a quirky robot named Fizz, who accompanied her through thick and thin. Fizz's circuits often buzzed with excitement, while his multicolored antennae flickered rhythmically. Their destination was an ancient space temple hidden within the mystical Nebula Delta 9, a swirling cloud of interstellar colors and otherworldly energies. The temple was rumored to be guarded by an enigmatic species known as the Stardust Spirits, celestial beings said to have lived among the stars for millennia. As the starship approached Nebula Delta 9, Midnight's paws shifted expertly over the control panel's holographic interface, navigating the ship with feline precision. She flicked her tail with anticipation as the luster of the nebula enveloped the starship, its serene beauty hypnotizing. Fizz initiated the landing sequence, his voice echoing softly, initiating descent sequence, Midnight. Prepare for touchdown in the nebula's heart. Midnight nodded as the ship descended through the luminescent clouds, the view outside transforming into a tapestry of vibrant light and shadow. Upon landing, Midnight and Fizz embarked on foot towards the looming temple. Midnight's agile form moved swiftly, her senses heightened by the temple's ancient energy. As they trekked across the ethereal landscape, Midnight felt a strange presence, 
hinting at the guardians that watched over the temple. The grand entrance to the temple was adorned with symbols of unknown origin, glowing faintly as if alive. Midnight, being the daring explorer she was, padded confidently inside. Her whiskers tingled as the atmosphere thickened with cosmic magic. Inside, the temple unfolded into a vast hall of shimmering stardust, suspended in midair like a galaxy frozen in time. Midnight marveled at the beauty and power surrounding her. Fizz diligently scanned the environment, hoping to understand the mechanisms and defense systems of the temple. Eventually, they reached the Altar of Wisdom, where the sacred stardust lay hidden. Midnight, harboring her natural curiosity, cautiously approached the altar. The guardians appeared, luminescent figures that radiated kindness and wisdom. Midnight and Fizz knew they must seek permission to take the stardust, aware of the ancient responsibilities binding its power. With a meow of respect and assurance from Fizz's calculations, Midnight communicated their noble intentions and the celestial guardians granted them the stardust. Midnight took great care in securing the stardust within the ship, understanding its significance to the galaxy. Embarking on their return journey, Midnight felt the weight and wonder of the universe in her paws. She gazed at the stars outside the ship, knowing her adventure was not yet complete, for endless worlds and mysteries awaited beyond Nebula Delta IX. And so, Midnight the Black Cat continued her space adventure, an explorer at heart, guided by curiosity and the spirit of discovery among the stars.